Hi guys, Happy New Year 2025. What a better way to kick it off than with some maths, all with the interesting number 2025. Let's go. First up, let's prime factorise 2025 to uncover a special power. One factor of 2025 is 25, and we need 81 lots of it to make 2025, which is 81 times 25. We can split 81 into 4 lots of 3s and 25 into 2 lots of 5s, like so. As both 3 and 5 are primes, we can stop here. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 5 is 20, 25. This is the prime factorization. Bunching up our 4 3s and 2 5s, we can write 2025 concisely as 3 to the 4 multiplied by 5 to the 2. All of our powers, 4 and 2, are even. This is nice as you can pull out a factor of 2 from each of the powers and stick it on the outside as a square, like so. 2025 is equal to 3 to the 2 times 5, all squared. 3 to the 2 is 9, and 9 times 5 is 45. Hence, 2025 is 45 squared. This year is a square number. Additionally, for a bit of fun, we can split 45 into 20 add 25. So 2025 is equal to 20 plus 25, all squares. This year being a square number is pretty cool, because it's surprisingly rare. The last year that was a square was back in 1936, which was 44 squared. This large gap, 89 years, is because our years are already quite big, in the mid 40s squares, and so they're always going to become even rarer. In fact, we have 91 years to wait after 2025 for our next square. 21, 60, which is 46 squared. Keeping 2025 in the mix, let's move on to a little puzzle. What is the last digit of 3 to the power of 2025? First off the bat, try typing this into your calculator. It won't give you an answer, and rightly so. The answer is just too gigantic, even for a calculator. In true fashion of beat the calculator, let's break this problem down and take a look at a much smaller, solvable evaluation. 3 to the 1, and spot some patterns. 3 to the 1 is simply 3. Moving up a power, 3 to the 2 is 9. Likewise, 3 to the 3 is 27. From here, we could jump directly to 3 to the 4, but before we do that, we're only interested in the last digit of our answer. When two numbers are multiplied together, to get the last digit, only the units, the last digits of the numbers being multiplied together, matter. Let's mark the last digit of 27, 7, to predict the last digit of 3 to the 4. 3 to the 4 is going to be 3 to the 3 times 3. We've marked 3 to the 3 as ending in 7, so 7 times 3 is 21. Again, it's only the last digit we're interested in, 1, so 3 to the 4 should end in 1. Rightly so, when we calculate 3 to the 4, we get 81, which does end in 1. To get 3 to the 5, we can do exactly the same approach. We can grab a 1 from our last ending and multiply by 3 to give the same last digit of 3 to the 5. 3 times 1 is 3, so 3 is our last digit. When we work it out, it matches with the answer, 243. As our last digit has looped back to the start, a 3, we can stop writing the powers out. We've got our pattern that we wanted. The ending of the powers are 3, 9, 7, and 1. This pattern has a length of 4, so 3 to the power of every multiple of 4 will always end in a 1. The closest multiple of 4 to 2025 will this last year, 2024, so 2025 is 1 tick greater. One more greater will loop back to the start of the pattern, so the answer must be 3. The last digit of 3 to the power of 2025 is 3. It's time for some classic mental arithmetic. It's only once in a while you can do this with the year and get an integer solution. Yet another reason why 2025 is truly amazing. Challenge! Pause the video here and see how fast you can solve this. Press play for an animated solution in 3, 2, 1. 2025 divided by 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 5 is 9 when we evaluate the denominator. Now we could go and calculate this pen and paper, but we can use our prime factorization before to write 3 times 3 as 9, 
and then at the top we can use our prime factorization from before as well to get four lots of threes multiplied by two lots of fives. These two lots of threes cancel out to give us three times three times five times five. Like before again, we can bunch up our threes and fives to get three squared times five squared, and we can pull out this factor of two from both to get three times five all squared. Now we have something squared and then square rooted, so our squared and square roots will cancel out to just remain 3 times 5. Now 3 times 5 is 15. 15 is the answer, all in our heads. Here's a fun follow-up question, with 2025 involved of course. The answer is cool, intuitive and surprising simultaneously. The 1st of January 2025 is a Wednesday. How many Wednesdays are there in 2025? Have a go and put your answer in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this New Year's special and have a fantastic, logical and mathematical 2025. Thanks for watching and let me know any topics and puzzles you would like to see this year on our channel.